Hello and welcome back to another video. Today is the 31st of January and I'm going to be doing kind of a different video based around positivity and the importance of it and why you should become a part of the positivity community. Why should you start one? Honestly, there is never enough positivity in the world and obviously helping others is a really great thing. And you will help others despite the fact that you might think there's like a gazillion positivity accounts out there and there's so many people in the world, how could you possibly make a difference? Well, guess what? <laughs> Most people don't usually keep lists of like 50 Instagram accounts that are all positive on their phone like I do. So they will probably only follow one or two people. And if you happen to be one of those people, then you can make an influence on their life and what they think and how they feel, which is pretty profound. I'm always like absolutely amazed by impacting someone's life no matter like how small. Not only will it help others, it actually does help yourself. Um, like with me, I didn't plan on having a positive Instagram account, it was just my main one and I started posting more positive things and then I'm like, hey, I'm, I pretty much have a positivity account, I might as well just make it into one entirely. So I did and then that just really like impacted me as a person because what I'm putting out there is what I'm getting back on myself, even just not even through like other people, but even just like in my own brain because what I'm saying is like reflecting onto me and if I think everyone is equal and worth it and beautiful because they are a person who makes mistakes and is unique, then hey, I'm a person who makes mistakes and is unique, so I'm still pretty great. Also, you can use it to get your message out there. Every single person in the whole world has a voice or something to say or an opinion or a thought or a feeling and those feelings should be shared with the world because they can be and because they're good things. It's a good method to express yourself and to change the world a little bit. You have to start by choosing your platform. Obviously, I'm not an expert. I don't know all the platforms in the world. Keep in mind your skills, your commitment, your time, and like what you have to offer in your current situation in life. Or like how will you utilize the theme and the tools you have available to you. For Instagram, you could be a photographer and have like great app editing skill thingies. I do not, and I have an Instagram account, which means obviously you can do like whatever you want pretty much. You just have to learn the basics of the app and then you're good to go. Um, but these will come in handy if you want to use your personal skills to help you out. It's convenient, easy, and popular, which means it is a great way to reach a lot of people really fast. You can watch a bunch of uh, videos on YouTube that are about like how to gain Instagram followers fast. There's a lot of those basic kind of videos out there that you can use to apply what you're looking for. It's also great if you don't have a lot of time on your hands and you can make your own schedule. With a blog, I feel like you have to have a little bit more uh, comfort and understanding of how technology works or how your specific blog site of choice works or whatever, which means it will take some experimentation and a little bit more time in order for you to build your website and you have to well, you don't have to. On some websites, you have to like buy a domain. If you want it to be as professional as you can make it and actually make it into some sort of company, then that might be a better way to go, but obviously it's up to you. I find though that it is harder to advertise. Like I did start one a long time ago, not for positivity or anything, but like it seems like it's a lot harder method because you can't get, there's not like a button or a subscribe button or something that you can just stay in touch. People have to actively want to choose to be loyal followers and that's often really hard since it's not as common of a social media kind of uh, preference. So it, t it does take a little more dedication but you can make something even more unique out of it. If and then with YouTube, most people are aware of the current problems with YouTube so if you're a smaller channel starting out it might not be everything you'd hoped it would be. You can advertise yourself around but YouTube won't do much of the advertising for you so it seems. It's not very welcoming, it just takes a lot of persistence and commitment, so if you're up for that then you're good to go. Also you'll need to learn how to film and edit if you don't already know, which I am doing, trying to. Okay, but what else are people looking for and how will you get attention from them? Um, you need to consider your audience, so especially with social media, people like to be entertained as I mentioned, they want it fast and easy and informative and they don't want to like think about it for too long. But obviously, in order to make an impact, they have to think about it for too long. Like with art, you want them to be able to take away something. You want them to feel something. And in this case, with positivity, you want them to feel good and happy and inspired. 
in order to do that, I would recommend opening up and sharing personal stories or some way to connect with your audience. There's nothing wrong with self-advertising, but you do need to share yourself to some degree in order to get yourself out there. Also, if your uh, social media of choice uses hashtags like YouTube and Instagram does, they are very good ways to group your content into a particular area where more people can find you. Also, you should consider your feed and the uh, more beauty or artistic elements that you're putting out there. You want it to be something that is eye-catching or aesthetic or something maybe that you would click on and be like, oh, that's a pretty picture, and then just add meaning to the beauty, like art. So for example, whether it'll be this video or another separate one, I'm not sure, but I have a list of my top 10 uh, favorite positive Instagram accounts and quite a few of them I like because of their feed whether it's bright and colorful or just has really pretty images paired with quotes. Just having a theme or some form of organization. Thank you for watching, hope you have a great rest of your day, and maybe this inspired you a little bit. I don't know, hopefully. Bye!